I take a trip uh, from uh, from Beamsville down to Port Maitland to check out the fishing. Um, there's a, a long concrete jetty that goes out into Lake Erie and it's right at the mouth of, um, of, of the Grand River. So here here are some of the fisher fishermen and women that are there. Um, they're a, a group of people and they're catching um, sheephead fish. Um, this, uh, this is not a fish that I'm, I'm that familiar with, but uh, some of them are quite large. Uh, this one coming out of here, um, this one that was caught looks like it could be in the four or five pound range. Um, and they've been, they were catching quite a number of them. So here is, a, here is a, a one being pulled out of the water here. Coming up is a clip from uh, Italo Labignan of the Canadian Sports Fishing uh, Television. And he uh, gives you a, a little bit of a rundown on the sheephead. Sheephead is also a freshwater drum. So these fish are very plentiful throughout the Great Lakes. And one thing that a lot of fishermen don't know is they're excellent eating. So after watching uh, a number of these fish being caught, get back in my truck and I head into Dunville because um, this, um, this fishing spot is just outside of Dunville in southern Ontario, southwestern Ontario. So I, I head out and here's a couple of the homes that are in the area. A few shots of this cool little aircraft uh, that's on display. It's um, the Harvard aircraft and during the Second World War in Canada, Harvard Mark II Bs were used as advanced trainers at 15 service flying training schools across this country. up were, um, were several plaques here memorializing some of the veterans that had uh, died during the Second World War. So I head back out into Dunville and the first stop that I made was was at the Dunville Marina, which is just over the bridge uh, heading into Dunville. Um, it's, uh, it's a full marina, it has several uh, powerboat slips and they also rent uh, canoes and, and kayaks here as well. And they provide food services as well. I now um, head north uh, towards Dunville, and and here is uh, the small town of Dunville. It, it doesn't look all that small. It's it's fairly large. It has a, a number of um, uh, conveniences here. There are all the banks, um, the Royal Bank, CIBC, and others. 
and um, Canadian Tire and and um, and some larger uh, grocery stores. The population of Dunville is only 5,759. Uh, that's in 2016. Uh, this little town is located um, on the shores of the Grand River, just where it enters into Lake Erie. It's a pretty little town, clean uh, streets, and um, it's, it was quite a nice place to visit. my way out, I um, stop at a stop sign and ask for directions to the, uh, to the closest McDonald's and um, I head there for, for lunch, have a um, quarter pounder with cheese meal and then head back home.